Good morning, everyone. We need to do a sound check. I'm not sure if anyone is even watching or is here. Sound check. Melody is here. I'm not sure if Melody's here. Hey, good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Alice. How's my sound? What a crazy question to ask. Sound check, sound check. Uh, good morning, everyone. So I signed out a little bit early because uh, sometimes it's always different every time you have to uh, do a live video. There's always a surprise. So I decided that I would um, avoid the scramble of surprise, surprise. So we have a lot to go over today, actually. Oh, good. Alice can hear me. Awesome. Uh, we're actually going to go over a lot of different things today. I've got a color along um, page from this color along book. We're going to be wor working on textures with uh, mixed media, but we'll wait for everyone else to get here because it's still kind of early. And um, <clears throat> we have um, that coloring challenge that's happening, the Just Color Coloring Group, which I hope that everyone uh, can participate in. There's a free page. I'm going to kind of I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about winter coloring camp. I'm going to talk about um, the winter coloring gathering. And I don't know, what else? I want to um, kind of take our color alongs up a notch. Sounds great, thanks Bonnie. Um, I want to kind of take our color alongs up a little bit of an up a notch a little bit as we move into uh, 2021. And I'll talk about that as everyone gets here. Um, so that is what is happening. Still only like, we still have like 10 minutes. So. Anybody uh, enter any good contests or how was the holidays? What is happening with everyone? Um, I've got some new books coming today too in the mail, I hope. Um, I hope they're going to be arriving today. It takes me forever to get a new book. Um, take a look at what we've done so far in this book while we're waiting for the rest of the game to get here since they're, um, we're being uh, we're early birds. Um, We've done a lot in this book so far. We've already done 12. Um, I guess we're almost, almost, we're almost a little bit, just past halfway through this book. We've done, um, this will be the 13th Column Along from this book. Um, Column Along Volume 16 is going to be starting like in April or something, but I have some different ideas about Column Along Volume 16 that I want to talk to everyone about today also. Um, because again, part of kind of kicking up Column Along is a, a notch a little bit and make them a little more um, informative. I mean, we can still talk about crazy things, right? Um, but I actually have thought about moving color alongs when we get to volume 16. What do you all think? There's five people watching right now. Let me know what you all think. Um, moving, having color alongs, um, when we move on to color along volume 16 in April, having them actually be twice a week. I don't know if anyone remembers. Uh, Bonnie, you must remember because you have been following me forever. Um, but we, I used to do color alongs on Mondays and Wednesdays, I think. Was it that? I used to do color alongs twice a week. And then um, I think there was like a time in the summertime that we decided to uh, switch it. My hands look so old, by the way. <laughs> with my, still still have my Band-Aid on. <laughs> it's crazy. Blending with colored pencils was our first one. I'm rambling. Um and then we worked on this mixed media page and this page prompted me to start a new book called Shadow Boxes. And all of the pages in the book, and some of you may have seen it, um, all of the pages in the book are, will be similar to this where there'll be just these little boxes with these little drawings inside them. Um, I think they're kind of fun. They're kind of fun to draw. So I've been working on that, I've been kind of chipping away at it. Um, I think Christmas and uh, getting ready for it with uh, trying to have a different type of Christmas this year um, kind of took a lot of my time away from what I really wanted to do was draw and paint. So how dare they? How dare that happen to me? Good morning, Sharon. Um, so we're just talking about what, what we've done in this book so far. 
Um, and then we worked on chalk pastels. I think this was the third one. I'm going to lose count here, um, which is from a grayscale illustration page. And similar to um, my, a couple, a few of my grayscale illustration books. But I always love working with chalk pastels because they just remind me of doing a painting. And you can really um, do a lot with it, a lot with blending. You can either blend uh, using a blending stump or some other object to blend the colors together. Or you can just blend them with each, blend the pencils together just with the pencils. Um, Alice is saying, I think this Christmas was my worst. Having the flood, oh, that's right. Alice had Alice had to leave her home because um, her area was flooded. That would make things very, very stressful. I dealt with, um, I spent Christmas Day uh, uh, pumping water out of my basement. So that was fun. Not really, but it was that's how I spent Christmas Day. But Alice is saying, I think this Christmas was my worst, having the flood and having to leave my home. But I was thankful I was with my son. This has been a bad year. Next year should be better. I agree, Alice. Um, I think that next year will definitely be better. And I think that um, a lot of people have taught. Hey, good morning, Angela. A lot of people have actually talked about how, um, in an odd way, things feel better. I don't know how to, I don't get into that that much, but I was actually watching a video about this. I talked to three other people. One person I talked to was like way younger than me. And I was surprised to hear that, that um, he and his friends had had the same conversation that I was uh, talking about. But anyway, um, I just had kind of, a, we had a socially distant Christmas in my family. We just uh, uh, met up outside um, on Christmas Eve, we swapped gifts. Uh, the original plan was to um, get together the next day over Zoom and open gifts together over Zoom. But it was like 60 degrees outside that day. So we decided to stay outside and uh, we couldn't wait. So we decided to open our gifts. So <laughs> we just decided to be like a bunch of uh, kids that couldn't wait for Santa to arrive. And we said, um, we're opening our gifts now. So we did. So we opened them all outside. And then the next day was very relaxing, actually. I painted, I cleaned, I pumped water. I know it doesn't sound very relaxing, but it really was. I watched a movie. Um, it poured on Christmas here really bad. Not as bad as what Alice had, but we had a foot of snow that melted. So um, I cannot imagine that type of flooding. Luckily, I live in an area where we are like where you go when something floods. So um, I'm very, very high up, um, pretty close to like the highest point in the in the city, in the state. So um, everything you, you leave my house, you take a left, you go downhill, you take a right, you go downhill. So we're at the top of a bunch of hills. Um, so we don't really get that much flooding, but I do get a lot of groundwater that comes up into my basement. And that was not fun at all, at all. <laughs> so Alice, I'm glad to hear you're safe. Um, but I agree, it'll be better. I think it'll be better. Um, so this is, and, and thankfully you had somewhere to go, right? So that's the other thing too, because it could have been a lot worse. Uh, grayscale with colored pencils. Um, and then this one was fun, creating patterns. We're going to do textures today and we're going to just use a bunch of just different stuff. I have crayons. Um, I'll use some markers. I maybe even will just kind of use a black pen. Um, but creating textures was this one. And then for this one, we use glitter gel pens. This is a mandala. I actually just released two mandala books on, hey, good morning, Mary. Two mandala books on Friday, I believe they came out. And uh, I have decided, this is funny, actually. I was trying to think of a name to uh, name the books. Email this to somebody. What did that be a scream? My weekly summary report of, of how many books I sold last week and uh, how much the website made. Um, slow week last week. Someone's going to look at it. I'll just tell you. There was like 21 books sold on Amazon last week or something crazy. So so we don't have to squint to see what I just put on the screen. Um, see, this is why live is, live is scary, you know? Next thing you know, we're going to put my uh, driver's license. Wouldn't that be a scream? Um, so anyway, so this was Mandala Beauty Volume 1. These are a few pages from this. This is what I'm getting ready to color. Um, so I um, I released those two books. So those are going to be fun. And what the plan is, is that there will be more Mandala books coming out uh, over the course of 2021. And um, it will be, um, they'll just be volumes. So I'll have volume, so there'll always be Mandala Beauties and I'll just keep releasing more volumes. And similar to these, there'll be some different ones. Um, as we move along and 
that's what's happening with that book. So anywho, that's what's going on with the Mandela books. Um, markers was this one when I kind of went a little crazy with my little white gel pen. I like the gel pen, but I'm not, sometimes it gets stuck. So I don't know. Then complimentary colors um, on this one. This was pretty cool. Uh, this was a bookmark page. And if you can tell, I don't know if you, well, when you look at the book, you can tell because you have the book. Um, those little kind of specs, you know, so that was a lot of fun. And then this was actually my favorite page. I was scared of this page. I was thinking to myself, what am I ever going to do about this page? Hey, good morning, Lynn Miller. Um, this is sepia. And I just thought this was just too much to handle during a live color along. I didn't know if I was going to be able to finish it. Um, so I thought about, thought about it. And I actually, um, kept thinking about this for a few days before, which I really rarely ever do when it comes to coloring something or painting something. Um, I like to, especially coloring. I like to just kind of do it on a spontaneous, uh, thing going on, you know, be a little more spontaneous with it. Woodless colored pencils was next and, uh, grayscale page, this basket, this was amazing. Wasn't this amazing? I mean, even just right now, doesn't it look like you can touch it? You can just kind of like feel it. Hey, good morning again, Melody. Um, doesn't it just look like you can kind of like just go and you would feel, make a noise. Good morning, Sarah. Um, and you would just kind of make a noise. So I'm just flipping through uh, this color along book. And here's today's page. So I'm going to pop a piece of paper underneath it. So while we're waiting for just a couple more minutes here for everyone else to get here, um, what I was saying when I first came on a little bit early because I wanted to make sure that the technology part was going to work. Good morning, Lynn. Uh, was that I want to kind of take color longs up a notch a little bit and try to incorporate um, or tie in some of the things that are happening in the Just Color Coloring Group and um, kind of tie in what's happening on my website. My website just got a huge makeover um, and I'm going to be kind of doing like a, a little like re-grand opening makeover special or, or like announcement um, in January. But I just wanted to um, just kind of incorporate a lot of different things that are happening everywhere. So there's my Facebook page, there's my YouTube channel, there's my website, and then this is just called Coloring Group. Um, and we usually don't have, have them kind of separate, but I just want to make sure that they're really, um, kind of pulling themselves all, kind of pull it all together. So right now on the Just Call the Coloring Group, there's a challenge that's happening. And I decided that when I put these challenges up, that having the challenge for two weeks to me is like, I, I would forget about it. I would put the piece of paper aside. I would be like, today's Wednesday. Hey, I've got another week and a half to go. I'm really kind of a procrastinator when it comes to stuff. And I wanted to um, just kind of have them shorter, shorter time frames. Okay, so this challenge right now is happening. It started yesterday, and it goes until Wednesday the thirtieth. And then I have some ideas from different challenges in the Just Color group, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. That was so much fun. I sat with two groups of pencils and filled in the blanks. Lynn said, "Lynn finished hers." Um, I finished mine also, but this is my next one. I was going to kind of fill in it a little bit today. I've got to go get Paisley something so she stops barking. And um, Marianne filled hers in too, and she already posted it. So if you haven't done this yet, this is a lot of fun. I mean, you kind of we did this at camp one time, and you kind of think, wow, 100 colors. But 100 colors, I mean, you could you probably have 100 colors uh, just amongst different, uh, mediums that you have. So it can be any medium. You can mix them together. Um, we're going to play around with it, but let, in the meantime, let me go let Paisley out. So I'll give Paisley something. So she's quiet. Good morning, shower waters. And I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Needed to get the dogs a biscuit, you know, the last one, as they say. All right, so let's get started on today's coloring page, and then we'll work on. We'll, I'll take a look at that 
100 colors challenge. I also want to talk about coloring camp that's coming up in February. I have the book here, February 7th to 13th is coloring camp. And we're going to talk about the winter coloring gathering that's coming up. And I want to also talk about some different um, ideas for the next Color of a Long book because I'm scanning that book this week. So again, trying to get that all taken care of. Um, and this is the week that um, uh, coloring camp books get shipped out to um, membership people. Whew. That was a lot of stuff, wasn't it? All right, so creating textures. So so many different ways you can create textures. Um, you can either create them by placing something underneath the page, and or you can create them by popping some, making something on the page to create a texture. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to color uh, the leaves of this of these tulips with some green. So I have just a green, regular old crayon. And I'm going to start out by just coloring this a solid color of green. And then we're going to go on top of that and give it a texture. Remember when you were a kid, you would color a piece of paper, or I did this anyway. Maybe, maybe I'm the only crazy person that did this. But anyway, color the whole paper with all different colors. And then you go over it with black, and then you kind of like scrape it out. Melody is asking, how are my fur babies? They're good, actually. Um, I just gave them a biscuit because, of course, they know that when I'm live, it needs biscuits. And um, I actually popped a photograph in uh, the Just Call a Coloring group behind the scenes of a color book. <laughs> Did anyone see that? Did anyone see that picture I put in the coloring group? Um, it was actually a picture of Scarlett, who usually, she's not doing it right now, but usually she sits lays down next to me and puts her, rests her chin up on my leg while I'm coloring, <laughs> while I'm live. And uh, Paisley was next door. So they've been really good lately. Um, they got um, these really cool toys for Christmas. Thanks, Lynn. Um, they got, um, I always buy them stuffed toys from Kohl's. Do you ever, does anyone ever buy these for dogs or for their pets? Um, or for kids, I guess. I mean, you can buy them for kids, but that would be boring. Um, they are um, Cold Cares toys. And um, now I'm going to add this uh, yellow green on top of it to kind of create that texture with color. So see how just those two colors are creating the texture because I didn't press really hard. So you can kind of see how it, it is kind of very, like a multicolor right, right now. So that's our first type of texture I'm creating on these leaves. You could also kind of add a third color in there also. Um, anyway, there's these stuffed toys at Kohl's. The Kohl's Cares toys, they're like five bucks. I think some of them are nine now, but usually they're five. And they always have uh, stuffed toys to go with a book that they sell. Hi, Ann. I was just wondering to ask, how do you market your coloring books? See me, Vashist? How do I market my coloring books? Um... Are you a coloring book artist, Simi? I, um, is that why you want to know this? That would be a good question. Let's have, let's have her answer that question for us before I go into this comp, this uh, conversation. Um, anyway, they are, they have stuff toys to go with the books. Does anyone ever see these? And they don't have eyes. They love them. We've got, um, they got the Bernstein Bears stuffed toy and a llama. I always put it in front of Paisley and tell her she could tell her drama to the llama. Good morning, Dawn. Every time I see Dawn sign on with that name, someone who knows, I always think, who the heck is this? And then I go, oh, it's Dawn. <laughs> I know, it's funny. Inside, that's what goes through my head, Dawn. Crazy. Let me tell you. All right. So this is my green color that I'm just a Crayola crayon, you know, just a Crayola crayon. A good thing I don't say that out loud, Dawn. That would be funny. You know, when people say something and they go, oh, did I say that out loud? I don't get the books. Lynn. I just get the stuffed toys. No, but they would be good dogs to read a book to. I always think that Paisley would be, um, 
I always think that Paisley would be a great dog to have a little kid learn to read and because she would just sit there and she would lay there with them and she would just like read. Not she would read, she wouldn't read, like the kid would read, you know? And then she would just enjoy, enjoy listening to the story. They're very nosy, you know? Does anybody else have nosy dogs or cats? They want to be in the know about who is talking about what and what is going on. I think they like to eavesdrop on things. But no, I do not read the books to them, Lynn, because I don't buy the books with them. I just get the stuffed toy. They're really nice quality, actually. They've had several of them. All right, so that's just kind of creating that texture there. Good morning, Omana. How are you? Angela's saying, my cat is constantly in my face. Yeah, they're nosy, right? Very, very nosy. It's funny because there was, um, I forgot who it was I was listening to. I was watching on TV. Oh, I know it was. The governor's address. Every time she does her weekly thing, Sharon's probably laughing about this. She, my dogs just love the sound of her voice. <laughs> I don't know why. They, I don't understand why. I think it's kind of funny. Maybe they think that they're going to pay attention to something and there's something that's going to be in it for them. That could be. I will, Melody, because your your granddaughter would love him too. Your granddaughter would love him too. You know who this is calling me? I'm going to tell you. CVS, calling to say there's a prescription ready. I'm going to tell you. I have tried to go to CVS for three days now and tried to get a prescription from the drive-thru. And the line has been incredible for COVID testing, What, where you pick up the prescriptions. Uh, I'm so frustrated. I'm about to call them and ask them to meet me outside at the door and not have to wait in that line. Because I, I waited in line yesterday for maybe 15 minutes and then I gave up. I left. So this is crazy. There should be a separate place. Always have to know what's going on, right? Crazy. No, I think we're talking, Oman is saying what news. We're just talking about how nosy dogs are. That they've got to know what's going on, and cats are too. Everyone's just going to be in the know. You're like, what the heck? Alice says, Cleo is very nosy. She has to see everything and wants to go in every room. Yeah, very. They want to check everything out. A couple of weeks ago, I washed their dog toys in the washer. And Scarlett was with me. And she watched me put them in the washer. And then we went back down. And she watched me put them in the dryer. And she's done this several times before. But for some reason, on this day, she was convinced that the, the toys went somewhere. I don't know what she thought. But she decided to look behind the dryer and she was trying to figure out where have they gone so finally uh we went back down to get them out of the dryer and she was convinced that there was something else down there so i had to let her down to the basement again to go look to see what was going on i just sent her down by herself it was crazy um katie says i don't don't hear an old-fashioned phone ring much more um it is actually my cell phone that has that classic phone ring I know. I just got a new cell phone, actually. Um, I upgraded to an iPhone 12, but they let me keep my old phone. So my old phone is my video camera now, and my cell phone is my is sitting next to me. So because I kept getting a phone call while I was doing live video on my phone, and then it was interrupting the video. Too much information, I know. I would go through that drive through I would not go through that drive through that they also use for COVID testing. I agree with a separate place. It drives me nuts, to be honest with you. I'm afraid to open the window. I get to the window. I have my mask on. Matter of fact, I went through one drive through It wasn't at CVS. It was at um, Walgreens. And the person before me had a COVID test. And the woman at the drive through window, when she opened, when, when, like, when she started talking to me, said to me, I'm going to send out a Lysol wipe for you. So that you can wipe down the drawer for me. I said, do I have to wipe it down for my own protection? She said, no. She said, I just figured you could do it. This way I don't have to. 
He said, I'm not wiping this down. What do you mind? I came here to clean the drawer at the drive-thru of Walgreens. I thought that was awful. I didn't do it. I said, I have gloves on. And I have a mask. It was crazy. Very crazy situation. Anyway, it is also slowing down the prescription filling. I agree with you, Katie. Completely slowing it down. I agree. But I'm telling you, I cannot go wait in that line anymore. So I think I'm going to call them today because they keep calling me and I'm going to say, I really need this prescription, but how else can I get it? Because I don't want to go in the store. Not that I'm being lazy, but isn't the whole point here, the name of the game is that we don't go in a store. Hey, how you doing? Beth, I was going to have a cell phone ring as a barking dog, but I have barking dogs anyways. Oh. I like the ones that have music. Don't they make you just kind of like start dancing? All right, I got to go let my dogs out, speaking of a barking dog, because they, they've got hands in their pants. Hang on a second. All right, you know I have to say it. This is the last one. Sharon's probably Sharon's gonna laugh. I always have to say that to them. This is the last one. You guys, the best is I love hearing your dogs. Uh, they think that they, like, that it's kind of a, uh, uh, I don't know what they think. Hello, Paisley. All right, we've got to get some markers so we can put do the two ups Paisley. <coughs> Sharon says, yep, sure, last one. I've heard that before. I say that to them all the time. This is the last one. I gotta say it like that though, Sharon. If not, you know. Sharon says, I wonder what mastermind at CVS decided to have the testing at the drive-up window. You know, I say that myself. I think it's great that they're doing that, but not only do I feel bad for the pharmacists, for the techs that are, that are doing it, because they didn't sign up for this, right? They signed up for the, their job was supposed to be prescriptions, right? So, but I think it should be something separate because it it's insane. And there's other places to have a test, but this particular CVS that I need to go to is just like really bombarded with um, a huge line. And, you know, the other thing, too, is that a lot of people from Connecticut are in this line where I am. Because you could get to Connecticut within like seven minutes, seven to ten, seven to ten minutes, I think it was, is what they said, um, from that particular CVS, which is a pretty, like around the corner from me. Um, Mary had made a comment here. Where is Mary's comment? Let me see if I can get to Mary's comment. COVID is more real to me. My friend is in the hospital. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Mary. Yeah, it's very real to me. I've had a lot of people that I know, um, have it. And, um, I know, um, a couple of people that have died from it. Um, it's completely real to me. It should be real to everybody. Right. All right. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to actually add, um, this whole thing I'm gonna color with this purple color. I was looking for the other marker. And this is a um, Faber-Castell duo tip. And then I'm gonna add dots to it, just to kind of embellish it to also add a different type of texture. Isn't this a pretty spring page to, on a, it's very dreary here today. It kind of looks like the sun isn't even gonna come out. Um, and then I'm gonna take this darker purple here and I'm going to add some dots to it just to create a texture with that particular, with the dots. So this is all, I mean, we're creating textures, but we're not putting anything under the page, but you can, um, you know, you can. Sharon's saying COVID is hitting too close to home. Now it's gotten more scary as the numbers have risen. It's incredible, isn't it? But, you know, I was watching this woman the other day. I'm going to rewatch it about uh, all of the good that has come out of uh, the pandemic. And I know it's kind of hard to see that, but I really think that there actually is some good. I don't think people are as rushed as they used to be. 
See how that just kind of created that little bit of a texture there? Well, like, um, yeah, Connecticut is not far from me. I mean, I could probably be in, like, um, let's see. I could probably either, like, head south and be, like, in uh, Sto Stonington, Connecticut type thing, like the coast of Connecticut within, like, 45 minutes. And then um, I could um, be in, like, right over the Connecticut line. What is the Sterling, Connecticut, like that? Kind of like like Western Connecticut. Would that be Western Connecticut? I think so. Um, yeah, because what did I do? I did something that was, um, I forgot where I had gone and it was in Connecticut and I drove from my house and I kept thinking to myself, boy, this is going to take me forever. And it didn't, it was actually 10 minutes by the time I got to the Connecticut line. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close, Alice, right? I mean, I'm only three hours from New York. Well, the, from the city, anyway. Angela is saying, thank you so much for keeping... Uh, Atlas is, out, is, is Angela, by the way. Angela Rodombi from Australia. Thank you so much for keeping us busy and connected during these times. Oh, you are very, very welcome. Everything is good here now. Zero active cases again in Australia. That is incredible. Um... You know, I always keep thinking that I wish I could do something to just kind of like help this whole, help everything that we're going through. So I hope that doing this helps. I'm going to take this darker pink and go on top of that pink. Almost, you can't, you can't really see it very much, but this is, you could easily add a white gel pen to this page too. I may have to find that. I have to get up to do that. You know how that is. I don't want to have to, have to bend my body. But really pretty with that color. I guess I'll use this pink color now for um, for this one right here. This is a Faber Castell uh, marker. Also, I like these grip color markers better than the duo tips. The duo tips have a lot of uh, like pooling of ink compared to the um, compared to these. I don't know what it is. Okay, so there is my pink rose, or tulip, sorry, rose, tulip. My friends have been in Canada for a year. We have their cats. They are in the, in the ISO, ISO hotel now. Um, yeah, isn't it just amazing? Could put red dots on the pink. Good idea. Thank you, Alice. Here's red. I'm going to put red on this one. Alice is great at textures. If you've ever seen any of her coloring pages, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on the spot, Alice, but her Alice's coloring pages are always really rich with texture. Or as they say where I'm from, texture. Melody says, we are in the, in the red where I live and I imagine it'll be worse when the holidays are over. Yeah, same here. It's got to get better, though. Well, I mean, do you, can you think of one thing that is better? I mean, really, think about it. I can think of a couple of things, actually. I'm going to tell you a couple of things that are better for me. I have gotten um, much closer to, um, like, relationships with uh, fa some family members have improved greatly for me. I don't know why, but they have. And I... It's been ever since the pandemic. I mean, there's got to be at least one thing that we can all be grateful for throughout all of this. This one's kind of like a, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but not too bad. You do great, Alice. Angela's saying, I dropped off some pencils and markers and some coloring books at the isolation hotel for them. Oh, how exciting. So they're back in Australia, but they're in the um, they're in a hotel to be isolated. You know, does that happen in the United States? I don't think it does. You just like come back, come here, and you just have to like 
you know, scout's honor, I'll stay home. You know? All right, we have one more rose here, and I'm going to go with blue. I mean, tulip. Keep calling them roses. Flowers remind me of spring, too, Bonnie. I say we skip this whole winter business. There was no snow on the ground here anymore because it's in my basement. Um, in a puddle. Thank God that's over. That was crazy. Thought that was going to be CVS again. Haunting me. Haunting me. All right, so here. Okay, so why don't we talk about Color Along Volume 16? Let's chat about Color Along Volume 16 for a minute. So, back in the day, when I first started doing Color Alongs, I used to do Color Alongs twice a week. Does anybody remember when we used to do that? What did you think about the twice a week Color Along? Because here's my thoughts. I'm thinking that we need to kind of take up, it's a new year, new beginnings, right? So, we're finishing up this Color Along book, which is Volume 15, on um march something or other let's see what the book what the thing says march 1st march 1st then after that wow march 1st i thought it was in april excuse me so after that then the next step is to do color along volume 16. alice says i love twice a week i kind of did too what do you think this is what my thought was actually i thought twice a week here on youtube Mondays and maybe Thursdays, or Mondays on YouTube, Thursdays on Facebook. Would that be too confusing? I don't know. Al says that's because people are starting to realize life is short. People start to realize who means a lot to them. I agree with you, Alice. I totally agree with you. Everyone has to stay in the hotel for two weeks if they come from overseas. The last outbreak came from a security guard at the hotel. Oh, that do they do that in New Zealand too, right? Melody says we got five inches of snow on Christmas Eve and 19 degrees, and I loved it. I love the twice a week long color longs too. Melody is talking about twice a week would be great. What do you think, Lynn? What do you think, Sharon? Who else is here? Did, um, Bonnie, what do you think? What do you think about flip-flopping between YouTube and Facebook? Is that too confusing? Are we getting too high tech? This is just um, a Faber-Castell duo tip marker, which is running out on me. Oh, no. Beth says, I agree with Lynn. New Zealand also has isolation hotels. Yes, that's right. Oh, I want twice a week. <laughs> Angela said, yeah, we used to do twice a week. All right, so now the next question. So I want to hear from Lynn Miller and from Sharon and Bonnie Hughes. Um who else? I'm thinking though, I feel like I love being on YouTube because I feel like the connection is much better technologically. You know, the technology part is great. However, I feel like there's a lot of people that are missing out on color alongs that I don't see anymore. So I'm wondering if we should um, move on to Facebook on another day. So I'm not really sure. What do you all think about this? Melody says, I can't attend the one on Mondays. I know, that's right, because you have to babysit. Sharon's saying, I don't know about twice a week. What would happen to draw alongs in private paint? Oh, that would still happen. Because I would still do draw alongs around Wednesdays. And private paints are always on Tuesday. Private painting lessons are on Tuesday for anyone that has those with me. Um, so draw along, I would do a color along on a Thursday. It would be Monday, Thursday. Remember, and to put the marker underwater when it runs out. Oh, really? I did not know that, Sarah. So who was that person that was asking me about how I market my coloring books? She just asked that question and then never said a word afterwards. Maybe she didn't like that I didn't answer her immediately. I don't know. Why does anybody want to know that? All right. Maybe she saw my my accidental accidental weekly summary report that I 
I do every week. It's like putting your, uh, <laughs> it's like putting something on the screen you shouldn't be putting on the screen. It's like the time that I was doing this, um, this, uh, promotion with, um, someone in another group, like the competition I sent from the marketing plan. <laughs> I emailed them the marketing plan that we were using and I was like, oops. She said, oh, that's okay. I didn't look at it. I just deleted it. Who are you kidding? You just deleted it. You copied every single thing we were doing. It was kind of funny, actually. You got to be careful with stuff like that. You don't know who you're going to send anything to. Sharon is saying it would be too much for me. There would be two weeks I would be tied up every morning. I have not sold 10,000 books yet, Angela. Not even close, actually. I have to do a count this week. Um, I was going to wait until the um, December numbers came in. It was kind of weird slow last week because the the book sales don't uh, get reported until they're shipped. And apparently nothing was shipped on Christmas. And I know that um, I know a couple of people that work for Amazon delivering and they did not, they had a lot of time off over Christmas. How dare they, right? They should deliver it on Christmas, if you ask me. But anyway, um, they needed to have some time off. So um, so they, um, I know that there was, there were a lot of deliveries. So when there's not a lot of deliveries, there's just not a lot of sales that get reported. So hopefully it'll, I'll do another count. Um, Beth is saying, my son got COVID right at the beginning of the outbreak while visiting Turkey. He didn't tell me until sometime after he got home. It was a good and bad thing that he didn't tell me right away. Well, yeah, he probably didn't tell you because he didn't want you to worry, right? When I got my markers, the package had it written on. About the water? The Faber-Castell Duo tips, Sarah? Interesting. I threw the package away, as you can see. Alice says, I think color longs are great. If you feel people on Facebook are not coming over to YouTube, then it's a good thing. One day YouTube, the other day on Facebook. Well, the reason why I thought that was that I would get them over to YouTube, you know, um, and it would maybe kind of attract different people. So um, we could give it a try. I mean, you guys know I'm always willing to try something new. Um, I'm going to use this black pen to kind of do some just swirlies. It's kind of like the at symbol. Just those little kind of like swirls. I don't really want them to look like a, like a backwards G. Oh, I'll try it, Sarah. Beth is saying he knew he would have. I would have lost my mind. I know it's really upsetting when you find out that someone has it. Especially if you find out. Like I never want to get that phone call that says to me, uh, "You were exposed." You know. So just a little bit of these little swirlies. I mean, I guess I could really even go smaller, but just kind of giving it a little bit of a doodad. I guess I really should get up and get the uh, white gel pen because I feel like it will kind of really give it some texture. Good point, Sarah. Sarah is saying if I do two days, people could choose which one they wanted to do. I agree with you. I mean, each day would be a different page, obviously, but I mean, the replays would be there, right? Um, I don't want to do like, you know, the Monday color long book and the Thursday color long, long book. That would be a uh, crazy talk, right? Sarah's telling me to get the white gel pen. Let's hopefully, let's hope this works. I'm going to bring all three. Hmm. I 
I even grabbed the glitter. The twinkles. I grabbed the twinkles too. The craft twinkles. I started a new painting last night. I got a um a very, very, very cool chair. Thank you, Melody. My chiropractor's office is closed because the chiropractor has COVID symptoms. They are waiting on test results. Oh, that's my had a doctor's office to close because of that. I'm gonna put some white gel on uh, just kind of randomly throughout my tulips. I got a really cool easel for Christmas as a Christmas gift. I was very, very surprised. Um, like a floor easel. So I have a new painting that I've started on a huge 24 by 24 canvas. I mean, it's not really huge, but. Okay, so there's my little, little tiny bits of white gel. Wow, that happened with your dentist too. Yeah, it's amazing where it's happened, hasn't it? Isn't it crazy? All right, we've got to do the background and then I'll add some twinkles. But I'm thinking the background could be more of a colored pencil. Um, let me see what I have. I'm thinking blue skies. What do you think? Blue skies. This periwinkle color would be pretty. Or where's our where are our blue people? Blue, blue, blue. I think I'm going to go with that blue, per that periwinkle color, but it definitely needs a good shopping when I'm, as I'm working on it. You can't see the white. It's there. Very, very little. I wish I could find my other one that's not a uh, gel pen, Sarah, but it's more of like a, um, uh, that correction pen, you know? Oh, Smurfs. Remember Smurfs? How Smurfs was still a thing? This is my, um, this is color it, color pencils. I don't really use these very often. They're okay. But I could go back over this background with another color blue, like I did with the, um, with the, the green section. My dogs fell asleep. I gotta give this a shot and hang on a second. Start back here, the bottom. So Coloring Camp is coming up on February 6th, uh, 7th. I always say the 6th. February 7th to 13th. And for the next Coloring Camp, um, we're camping in a treehouse. Where is my Coloring Camp book? Um, we're camping in a treehouse. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got some different types of tutorials happening. We've got, uh, um, we have color schemes again because, color, well, color theory type thing because people asked for it. So it's going to do color schemes with these little bookmarks. Trying to figure out, like, what color goes with what, you know? Have you ever used colored pencils that go over it with crayons? I don't think I have, Angela, but I'll do it now for the background. Why not? Number two pencil in paint. We're going to use some gouache with this page. Blending some colors. I don't know what we're using for that. What are we using for that? Uh, colored pencils for blending colors. Then we are going to be working on a monochromatic page. We're going to, going to draw the camp house and grayscale illustration page with mixed media and northern lights this is going to be a lot of fun oh alice asked me that question i'm sorry i thought it was angela i'm going to uh, give it a try and then it has different um activity pages in it uh how many dots word search a coloring page what else is in this book 25 colors challenge uh five day coloring project has made it to this book and brain teaser everyone's favorite so I hope you can join me for this. Uh, coloring Camp is the 7th through the 13th. It's going to be at 10 a.m., which is when the live video is. And um, 
$21.99 to join that to join camp. And every day there'll also be a giveaway. So I'm not sure what the I know that Mary Whitworth had talked about doing a giveaway for paparazzi jewelry. So I'm gonna get in touch with her. And I know that um I think it was Carol Blaze said that she was going to do another painting. And then I'm not sure what else we're gonna give away. I'd like to give away maybe um, a PDF coloring book. That would be cool. I'll have to get in touch with um, some coloring uh, supply companies to see if they want to do a giveaway. How are those watercolor pencils, Alice? From Shvera Farben. I mean, watercolors. Watercolors, right? She sent you watercolors and paintbrushes. Boy, this pencil's really, uh, get eaten away as you're coloring. Scarlett and Paisley are no longer, um, at my feet. <laughs> they decided that the floor was too hard and apparently they went over to the couch. I got to take a look at those brushes, Alice. Are they sable here, like brown bristle, or are they white bristle? I use such a variety all the time. And oddly, I find that I am I use a lot of nylon paint brushes, which I never used to do before. But I have this set that I had bought on Amazon. It was really, really cheap, too. It was like six bucks. And it had 18. Sarah's saying that's what's wrong with colored pencils. I you, you fly through them, right? I agree with you, Sarah. I don't use them very often. I don't use them very often for several reasons, but that is one of them. Color Colorit and I had some issues in the past, so. All right. Now, let me see. I gotta get my stuff in order here. This is too messy. Do you have a messy area, messy workspace? They say that uh, messiness is a sign of um, high intelligence, right? So what color should I put on top of this? Sarah and Alice are talking about brown. Is that what you mean? Do you think I should put brown on top of this? Or should I go with another, with, with more blue? This is a blue green. So I'm gonna go with blue green. I'm gonna make an executive decision on top of this. Oh, wow, works out great actually. I'm just coloring so lightly. I mean, really, really, really light. But look how much it's really enhancing that color. Really making a good difference, actually. It's going on smoother. I feel like I'm doing like a review, like a food review. We haven't talked about food yet today. Where's my head? I haven't talked about food yet or food at all. I don't know where or why I wasn't thinking of that. I had a Whole Foods delivery this morning. Um, once again, hard to get a delivery time. Tried for like three days to get a delivery time. And I didn't want to do one this morning, but I looked earlier early this morning, look to see once again, thinking, could there be delivery times? I'm not sure. And sure enough, there was like one slot open. So I grabbed it. Um, but I figured I should do it before it got too close to New Year's Eve. Is it giving a texture? A little bit. Yeah. Brown for the, br for the brushes. Oh, brown for the brushes. <laughs> okay. Hello. Katie is saying the higher end colored pencils last longer because you don't have to do as many layers or press as hard for coverage. Um, yeah, I agree with that, actually. I love Spare Farben for that reason. Um, I mean, Prismacolors, I do love Prismacolors for that reason, too. But it depends on the set of Prismacolors. Like, I have one set of Prismacolors that has a lot of natural colors in it. I just posted a mandala somewhere. Um, is it under here? Let me see. Yes, this one. 
this was done. I did this one for Mandala Beauty Coloring Book Volume 2. Um, this was Prismacolor set. It was just a, a different color palette of colors. Um, so uh, this was a, I love the colors in this actually, because they're really different. And then this was, um, I don't even know what pencils this was. Definitely not, um, whatever, oh no, this was, no, I don't even, I don't even remember what color, what pencils those were. This must have been, um, must have been color it again. Lynn is saying, I got Whole Foods on Saturday. So easy. Very easy, isn't it? I, I try to only do a Whole Foods order like every other week, but sometimes they just don't, you cannot order, like, I order a lot of yogurt, so they limit the quantities or there's just not in stock or, but yeah, very, very easy. I haven't made a pizza in a while either, Sarah. Sarah was commenting about pizza. I haven't made a pizza in a while. All right, I'm going to add glitter to this. I have my twinkles. We're all set. If you use marker under the pen. I also do a lighter marker base under the pencils. I've done that too, Katie. I love doing that actually. Doesn't that look pretty? Isn't it look like really like, ooh. What kind of pizza did you have, Sarah? I always try to get like my least favorite uh, brush when I'm using these twinkles because I feel like I'm going to ruin it. But I'm just going to add a little bit of twinkle glitter. You just paint it on to my tulips. Again, kind of creating a little bit of a texture. I don't really use glitter very often, but... Sometimes it's fun to add it to something. Alice is saying, nowhere will deliver food here. I've looked. You, really? You can order online at Walmart and pick it up, but that's it. I had pizza for Christmas. Um, what did I have for Christmas? Um, I love having pizza for Christmas or for a holiday, actually. I don't remember what, what I had for Christmas. Some sort of, some type of chicken. I'm not even sure. You don't have Whole Foods, Melody? My favorite market. I used to go to Whole Foods. Remember, does anybody remember when Whole Foods used to be called Bread and Circus? Does anybody remember that? Three meat with a croissant crust. Oh my God, that must be delicious. That sounds absolutely delicious, Sarah. All right, so this is our um, finished page textures, creating textures with this spring-like page in kind of like as we arrive into winter. So I just want to get this brush out of the way. So let's talk about um, next week's color along and see what we're doing for next week. So I don't want to make that touch the other page though yet. Next week we're going to be using oil pastels um, for this page, which is a grayscale illustration page. And we're going to just blend, talk about blending and what we can do with blending for that. And then the next one, which is as we move into January, because that's going to be the next column one for January. Glowing, which we're going to make this glow, basic, basically. Oh, thank you, Bonnie Hughes. Um, and then here's one for tie-dye, which is on the 18th. Dare to begin. This is a nice one for the beginning of New Year, isn't it? Well, maybe Whole Foods will come your way soon, Melody. You can always come on over to my house and we can order Whole Foods together. Grayscale painting with watercolors. And that is what's happening with this. All right, so we've got, what do we have happening over the next couple, next week or so? We have this um, 100 coloring challenge, colors, co colors challenge, not a coloring challenge, but a 100 colors challenge. And this is happening in the Just Call a Coloring Group. So if you're part of the Just Call a Coloring Group, you can go over to the group, click on events, and you can join the event and you can get this page for free um, to 
color your page. I did, already did one of them, but I thought I would work on another one. I mean, so simple, simple. Just basically color each, and it's going to have a little bit of texture here because I've got a cardboard piece of cardboard underneath here. But basically, just fill in each square. I don't usually fill it right into the lines. I did see that Marianne actually made them like an, on an angle, which I thought was a very, very good idea. And she did it for particular pencils. I think she did it for Arteza. So this is a good page to also swatch your colors. Um, and just basically fill them all in. And when you start to run out of colors, you could actually kind of make your own. So for example, we could add yellow. But how could you run out of colors, right? I mean, colors are just everywhere. We can add some yellow there. And I can go on top of it with this blue-green color, and it will become now a green color. So you can just kind of make your own colors with that. If you really want to challenge yourself, you could actually just work only with red, blue, and yellow and mix your colors and make your own colors. But it's kind of a fun challenge. I thought it would be um, going to kind of make this into like a muted red color with some white. I thought it would be kind of a fun challenge rather than just the typical... Um, you know, just the typical coloring challenge where we're coloring a coloring page. This will be kind of a fun type of challenge. So if you have any ideas for a different type of challenge, just let me know. Whole Foods wasn't called that when you before. Yeah, it used to be called Bread and Circus. This was like, I don't know, in the 80s maybe? Back in the day when I used to shop at Bread and Circus. I've shopped at Whole Foods, whether it was Bread and Circus or Whole Foods or whatever the heck I was called for a very, very long time. Um, Alice is saying, I eat gluten-free pizza. pizza. I took gluten-free cheese pizza and added more cheese seasonings and added tomatoes and green onions and Canadian bacon. That sounds absolutely delicious. I did make a pizza the other day and the whole thing was not eaten. So I put, um, I put the slices in, in the freezer individually. So I do have like kind of my go-to, uh, it'll be my go-to if I'm afraid, if I'm interested in having, um, a slice of pizza and I don't didn't make one. So sometimes I'll do that. Sarah says, I'm an 80s kid. You were born in the 80s? Now I'm feeling very old, Sarah. So I'm just adding different colors here. They're different shades. So certainly you can have uh, two shades of purple. Two shades of green, maybe. Here's another pink, a different color pink, different shade of pink. I mean, you could get all fancy and you could go back over it and you could say, well, I'm going to, you could put the name of this color and say this was a Faber Castell Grit Marker Brown if you wanted to. Or you could just go willy nilly and just do whatever you want. Well, happy birthday. Yeah, I'm feeling old. Me too, Alice. I know. I'm with you, Alice. I was born in the 60s too. Now I'm feeling ancient. Oh my goodness. It's like, oh my God. Am I, am I that old? I forget how old I am anyway. I always forget. You know, when you're only like 35, what can you, what can I say, right? You just kind of forget. Oh yeah, I'm 35. You just kind of forget how old you are. YouTube, Lynn. Yeah, I was actually watching a commercial the other night where uh, for AARP. I mean, not like I was only watching the commercial, but a commercial came on TV while I was watching TV, and it was for AARP, and there was this couple. And they said, I forgot what year it was, somewhere in the 60s. And I said, um, as I'm watching it, I'm thinking to myself, man, those people look old. And then I realized that they were as old as me. But they really did look old. So, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just not wanting to feel old. I think, think if you just don't think about it. Angela is 47. She was born in the 70s. Melody will be 61 tomorrow. Happy birthday, Melody. That's right. Your birthday is a, you're a Christmas baby. Should I continue on to this whole page and finish it? Feels like I'm going to. 
it's almost like you could set a timer, right? And see how far, oh, this is a pretty color actually. I never realized that that was that color. You could set a timer on the whole thing and see how fast you could fill in. And this would be a good game to play with kids. Sarah wants me to finish it. Okay. This would be a good game to play with kids. Sit them all down. You could have a race. I have to put these aside. My hand is getting full. This is, see, a different pink. Again, a different yellow. Another yellow. Where's that yellow? Um, I did already use that one, I know that. Here's another orange. Orange, as they say. A brown. Here's another, like, melon color. A little similar to the other one, but not really. Brown again. <laughs> Liz, you're making me feel old. Sorry, Lynn. No, I, I know. I'm feeling old, too. I always forget how old I am. Lynn. I always forget how old other people are. So I... I don't know. And the other thing is that I always seem to get along with people that are like 10 and 20 years older than me. Better than I do for people my own age. Isn't that weird? What is it about that? Maybe I should, um, I sometimes I think I was born at the wrong time. Sometimes I think that I should have been born like at a different time. Scott, you're making an awful lot of noise out there. What is happening? Sarah is saying we're all so young, aren't we? We can just be ageless like that movie. Did you see the thing on Facebook that I shared? It said you start to be concerned about the elderly and you realize you are the elderly. I know. I did see that, though. I did think that was kind of funny. It's like when you're talking. That reminded me of like someone telling you like a complaint about themselves. All right, I'm going to go back with here with this one. I'm getting more on my hands than I am on the paper. Here's army green. So how are you celebrating your birthday, Melody? What are you going to do? Anything exciting? Are you going to eat good food? I hope. All right. Well, this is an interesting color right here. It looks like brown to me, but it also looks like a burgundy color. I'm going to pop this gray back up here. Another yellow. Different, though. And here's black, because black is a color, too. We don't want to forget you, Mr. Black. We'll go with another purple. And kind of a putty color. All right, we need more colors. We need more color. I'll have to go with my um, with these with these pencils. All right, so here's a periwinkle color. Now the other thing is that swapping mediums, you're never going to have the same color, right? Because you're just not. Like I mean, here's two greens. Maybe it's similar to a green marker, but it's certainly not the same. I thought this purple crayon was a bug. Thank God it wasn't. I'll even use silver. Here's another shade of green. Angela says, I hope you get lots of presidents, Melody. Lots of cake and wine. <laughs> I have to say all at the same time. Right? Maybe babysit for my grandmother 
for my granddaughter is still not maybe babysit if my grand granddaughter is still not sick. Hope she feels better. All right, these two pencils need to be sharpened, and I'm just not in the mood. Not in the mood of sharpening those. All right, so let's go with some orange again. Do you keep your pencils in a case like this? I don't know if I like it. It feels like they're, con they're like, constricted, you know? It reminds me of, like, um, I don't know, you're under the covers, and you're, like, stuck. Okay, those are, those are two cool colors, actually. What kind of greens? A lot of greens in this set. I'm gonna get on to some, something else, like pink. What are we thinking? So the Winter Coloring Gathering is coming up in a couple of weeks. Did you all see that? The Winter Coloring Gathering is two days, January 9th and 10th. And they're going to be each day at 10 a.m., and one day is going to be a tutorial about uh, Impressionism applied to a coloring page. The other one's watercolor pencils. And the, the booklet that you get for $9.99 also has other things in it. It has some activity pages. It has um, uh, some uh, worksheets about Impressionism and worksheets about... Um, watercolor pencils so can you tell that i can't do two, two things at once like talk and uh take a pencil out of the case maybe that's why i don't like these cases what set of pencils is that you're using these are color it sharon i'm not crazy about them i think it's because i have issues with color it but anyway my issues have nothing to do with coloring but um some of you have made some of you have heard me tell the story i can't tell it on youtube because it's not good not a good story to tell on YouTube. Katie is saying, even with the same medium, you may have the same colors. My Prismacolor and Ohuhu markers, you have to say it like that, have all have all different purples. Yes, I agree with you. Oh, Sharon, tell him I said happy birthday. Yeah, the tips of the color of the pencils. Well, do you have Spear of Farben? You would love those. Spear of Farben pencils are my favorite. Um, and the, I got to say, the color of the tip is true uh, to what the pencil is on these i will give that give you that but they're kind of expensive i think these are like i want to say these are like 50 bucks but spare farben i think is a better quality pencil for the price i don't know how much spare farben are lately um does anybody know how much these pencils are i want to say they're 50. they sent to color it sent them to me so i didn't pay for these but um, so here's some brown. So this is a fun, a fun activity, a fun challenge. This, this page is similar. Um, I may have to pull out another set of something to, to continue this, but this page is similar to activity pages that are in my book, um, the kids activities book. I don't know if anyone's seen that. For some reason, that book um actually I'll use these Prisma colors. This set here. This is the set I colored that mandala with. And it's just got these, it's the landscape set. This is a really pretty set, actually. So I'll use this for this one. But it's this page is you can find pages like this if I can find the book. Now I know I'm losing my mind. I just had it. Oh, no, I don't have it because I gave it to someone for Christmas. Um, 
it's um similar to the that uh, kids activity book. But I forgot I gave it to that kid. I gave it to um to a friend of mine to give it to her son. Sharon says, I bought the Monarch set and love the love that they have the color at the end. Yeah, all Black Widows do. Do you is that the only Black Widow set you have? And that's actually not my favorite set. How about that? I really like the um Scorpions and I like the um the regular Black Widows, just the spider. I was hoping to get Spare Farm for Christmas, but it looks like I'm going to have to buy them for myself. I know. Story of my life, Sharon. That's how it happens to me too. I just shop for myself for Christmas. I just look at the dogs and say, what would you like to buy me? Here's my credit card. <laughs> and they say, no, you just go pick it up for yourself. This year they bought me boots. <laughs> they said, you deserve them. They haven't even been delivered yet. So we'll have to see how that goes. All right, I'm gonna go with this blue indigo color. Look at this, I only have one more box left. Whew, this was like a race. Okay, I'm gonna do gold in the last box. This is the color it gold. Katie says, Prismacolor Premier are the art grade versus, are the art grade versus the scholar ones with the student. Yes, thank you. That is a very good way of putting it. It's a very good description. Thank you for clarifying that. Premier is the art grade versus the scholar ones are student grade. So this is a better quality Prismacolor pencil. To be honest with you, I'm not crazy about Prismacolors overall because I feel like they're a little grainy. But this particular set, I don't know if it's the colors that I like better um, because I've had other Prismacolor premieres that I thought were much grainier than this. So um, I don't know what it was about that, but it was just a little grainy. Sarah said, 96 Spear of Farben is $46. Can't find the colorant pencils online. Are they still around, colorant people, though? Is the color, I don't, they used to, remember they used to do live videos all the time? I remember they used to do it, um, I forgot what day of the week they used to do it. Because I flip-flopped a lot around when I did videos. I used to do videos on a Wednesday night at 8 o'clock at night. Then I remember I used to do uh, Wednesdays live at 12 at noon. That was interesting. Um... When I first started doing color logs, I mean, don't cringe. I used to do them at 6 a.m. And I'm going to tell you something. You think that's crazy because it was. You are right. But you would never believe how many people were watching at 6 a.m. There was a lot. Let me tell you. There was a lot. Sharon says, that's funny. I hope it's a log with an order of biscuits for them. Well, did I buy them any? I, I didn't buy them any biscuits. Because I had the, I had to order the boots from, I didn't order them from Amazon. So they'll have to get something else. They got bones for Christmas. That was their, their Christmas gift. And they got those toys. I had my hair done for me for Christmas. I said, away with the gray. Did you say it like that, Alice? Away with the gray. I know it's kind of hard to have your hair done now, right? I gave up trying to go to, the, go to have my hair done. So I cut my own hair. I, I don't know. I gave up with it. Sharon says, I agree. I have some Prismacolor pencils. They are not a favorite. Yeah, they're not a favorite of mine. 72 set of color it pencils is $34.99 on their website. That is lower than they used to be because I know they used to be like 50 bucks. Hey, Sandra, two times would be fun, YouTube and Facebook. I think we should do it. I think we should try it. Um, I'll have to get myself in gear here and put the schedule together, put the book together uh, and get it going. If I always buy myself a happy birthday, 12th on December 5th. Happy, happy belated, Katie. Merry Christmas. I love me Valentine's Day because I have been single for so long. Yeah, you gotta like treat yourself. You can't wait for someone else to buy you something. You just gotta buy it for yourself. What's the point? You just gotta make sure you, you treat yourself. Finally found the perfect wig, color, style, and price. That's awesome, Sandra. I had been looking for boots for a long time. Let, let's hope I like them. Because I don't even know if I'm gonna like them, you know. It may it may be like a Cinderella glass slipper moment, where I'm like, not so much. So we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, usually it's something something more expensive than I would normally buy, like my MacBook or my KitchenAid Pro mixer. Yes, I bought myself a TV like that. Finally, 
God, my mom just chopped off one and a half inches of my hair this morning. Yeah, you got to, I love the idea too, Katie. Go for it, right? You got to just kind of like, you want it, buy it. Because who else is going to buy it for you? No one. Yourself. The dog. If the dog had a credit card, they'd be all set. I could. Thank you, Alice. I could do Facebook on Mondays. And then I could say, tune in on Thursday on YouTube. That is a very good idea, actually. That would bring more people to YouTube. Because I only have 137 subscribers right now to YouTube. So if you're watching this video and if you have not given it a thumbs up and like this video, I would really appreciate that you did that. So I always forget to say this. People tell me I should say this all the time. Uh, so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe so you always know when I have a new video out. And you can share this with your friends. Yeah, I never ask for a gift either, Katie. If somebody says to me, what do you want for Christmas? Or what do you want for your birthday? I'm just like, eh, I don't know, nothing. Sharon's, Sharon's hooked. We've got around twice a week. It's fun. You know what ends up happening is it becomes more of a community, right? I think, why did we stop? Was it because of the summer when people had things to do? It might have been. It might have been, you know, remember when we used to be able to go outside and leave the house and get together in person? You know, when you um, when you have to tell somebody in 20 years from now about what it was like um, to live through a pandemic, are you going to say we had to wear a giant mask that was made of metal? Right. We're going to say things like that. We never, ever left the house. There were cobwebs on us as we we sat in a chair. You know when people say I walked to school in 12 inches of snow, 12 miles. Fear of missing out is getting, to me. I'm going to give it a try. Okay, Charlie. You know, I think it was because we started, it was back in the day. <laughs> back in the day when we got to go places and yeah, and we couldn't find any toilet paper. So we had to use leaves, Alice. People had piles of leaves. <laughs> In their yard. They kept them. They had special buckets that they put inside their hugs. Right? That's what it's going to be. We had to use leaves for toilet paper. We had to reuse the leaves sometimes. Sometimes we rinsed them out. No, that's disgusting. But anyway, we had to use leaves for toilet paper. There was nothing to be found around anywhere. I'll tell you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go... Uh, I don't know. Plan the rest of what I'm going to tell people what happens when they uh when the pandemic happened from long ago. All right, let's recap here. We've got this page for textures. We have this page for the 100 coloring challenge. Head over to the uh just call a coloring group. Be part of this. This is a lot of fun. This colors challenge. Time yourself if you want to. Make it even more interesting. Do it two, three, four, five times if you want to. Then you can say later on in 20 years during the pandemic, I colored this page a hundred times. It could be like that. Then we have our coloring camp that begins on February 7th. And if you want to join in on the uh, coloring winter coloring gathering, there's coloring pages in this book that are not found in any of my other books. This is the, They're exclusive to this. There's a word search. There's a maze. There's coloring pages. There's an exercise for watercolor pencils, exercise for impressionism. Yes, there's an S-man in there, but he doesn't want to be made fun of. And that's about it. Hope you have a great day today. Fun time today, Sarah Cameron says. Thanks, Ann, and everyone have a good one. This was fun. You can have my toilet paper, Sarah says. I know, you know, I had to buy toilet paper on Walmart, and it's still not here yet, so I don't know what's going on. Um, great class, Lynn says. Okay, awesome. Thanks so much for joining me today, taking time out of your busy schedule, and uh, enjoy your day. I'll see everyone uh, next week. Have a great day, everyone.